हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम पब्लिक डॉक्टर वेट चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर पी आर पटेल प्रोफेसर एंड हेड वेटरनरी मेडिसिन हियर वी डिस्कस इम्पॉर्टेंट बैक्टीरियल डिजीज एंट्रोटोक्सीमिया टाइप डी एंड इन पार्ट फोर वी विल डिस्कस नेक्रोप्सी फाइंडिंग एंड डायग्नोसिस necropsy finding of enterotoxin type d hemorrhagic lesions in various parts of the body in heart endocardium myocardium epicardium and in the digestive tract abomasum and duodenum there is effusion in peritoneal and pericardial serous cavities characteristic finding in acute disease in sip that is the pulpy kidney disease in sip is a very famous name and that is because of the rapid post mortem autolysis of kidney kidney get autolysed within few hours after death continue with the necropsy finding pulpy kidney disease there is acute lysis of the parenchyma of the kidney kidney become hyperemic and it is severely damaged by toxin the kidney become soft and pulp like and there is autolysis develop in 3 to 4 hours rapid after the date and so it is named as pulpy kidney disease hyperemic areas are observed on the intestine there is a bilateral pulmonary edema and congestion continue with the necropsy finding there is large quantity of fluid accumulation in rumen and abomasum because of the high carbohydrate feeding more feeding and stasis of the rumen and abomasum the ileum contain undigested food that is again because of stasis there is edema and degeneration of basal ganglia and cerebellum this damage is caused by epsilon toxin and according the symptoms of this degeneration are observed nervine symptom in goats the characteristic finding is cataral fibrinous hemorrhagic necroentrocolitis this is observed in goat not in sheep and in chronic cases pulmic kidney is absent diagnosis of type d enterotoxemia presumptive clinical diagnosis can be made on history and clinical signs we have already seen clinical signs and the important history is sudden death with convulsive symptoms in lambs which are maintained on carbohydrate rich diet characteristic history for more confirmation prepare a smear from the intestinal contents stain it on microscopic examination presence of short thick gram positive rows suggest you of high proliferation of coelostridium perfringens organism continue with the diagnosis the disease can be confirmed that it is due to type d clostridium perfringens 
demonstration of epsilon toxin in the small intestine fluid in the laboratory that is a confirmatory test of type D. Cultural isolation and identification of organism and bacterial, bacteriological examination by culture can also confirm the disease. Continue with the diagnosis. There is hyperglycemia in sick. Increase the glucose level in blood. And so, there is glycosuria, presence of glucose in the urine. This is also a characteristic. More confirmatory test is immunological test, very sophisticated test. PCR test for detection of epsilon toxin gene. We have already seen characteristic postpartum finding for the diagnosis of type D. Collection of sample for the diagnosis, especially for epsilon toxin estimation. Intestinal fluid should be collected in a sterile glass container or vial. And it must be within few hours after death, not delay. Otherwise, there will be degradation of absolute toxin. Then in this intestinal fluid, add a chloroform. One drop of chloroform for each 10 ml of intestinal fluid that will preserve the toxin in the intestinal fluid. Send this fluid to the laboratory under refrigeration for toxin identification. Friends, with this presentation, the clinicians are able to diagnose the disease on necropsy finding and other confirmatory diagnosis. Requested to share this information for the benefit of the veterinarian and for the benefit of the student, ultimately benefit to the animal kind. Requested to subscribe the channel, to uplift the channel. Thank you very much for observing this.